In the previous video, we talked about local and global variables. So in this video, we will show you another variable definition. We, will, can, we can declare a variable as a static variable. So we see what is a static variable. So when we have the local variable we talked about in the previous video, the local variable we say is the variable only live in the current function. So the local variable scope only exists while the function is executing. When the function terminated, the content of local variable are lost. So when we say the content of local variable are lost, remember actually just mean the memory is released. So we say the local variable content are lost. The meaning actually is mean the memory is released. Because like earlier we show you, when you have a program to run, we run the main function. The CPU will assign the specific memory location to save all the variable and the information for the main. So the same thing when we coding a function, we will allocate specific memory location to store the local variable and the passing parameter. So once the function terminated, the content of local variable, they are lost. That's because the memory is released. But one thing is, if we want to keep that variable have the same value as before, can we do that? Yes, actually in C++ we can do one thing is, when we declare a local variable, if we add a static keyword, then we can make the static local variable retain their contents between function code. That mean even your function terminated, the static local variable value is still there. The reason is the static variable, the memory location is different. For the static variable, actually they will have occupied different memory location from the memory slot for each function. So they have their individual location. So that's why when the function finish, those static memory locations still keep there. So that's why the static local variable can return their content between the function code. So when you have your static variable you want to define, you also initialize only one time. So the first time the function is executing, we can initialize the static variable. Or if you didn't initialize, they will have the default value for zero to initialize the numeric number. Because one thing is for the integer double, the default value is zero. But for the character, so they they actually the character they are zero ASCII value or the string they are no character. So that's what we call the static local variable. So before we show you how the static local variable will retain their value, we just see one example. I want you to download from example twelve. So this example twelve actually just show you the regular local variable we define. So then later we will show you in example 13, that's define a static local variable. But one thing we see the first thing about in example 12. Usually you see here we have a show local function. So this show local function we declare a local variable called local noun. So we assign the value equal to 5. So then we display the information for the local noun. So you can guess that's the C out will display local non equal to 5. Then we change to 99. But here we will show you after this function finish, no matter what local non is, they are just gone. Or even they are equal to 99, actually they won't show again. So that's why here we will see we call the main function twice. In the main function we call show local one time, then we Call show local again. So then you will see here. Uh, so then you will see they just display local not equal to 5. 
So then actually you cannot access the local none again. You can see here when you the first time you call show local, we declare local none equal to five. So we display local none equal to five. Then even after what we assign local none equal to 99. Yeah, they just update to 99. But after they finish this function, the local noun memory being released. Then when we call again, right, there you see, after you call again, your local noun being declared again to have that memory location again. So then we assign equal to 5. So that's why they will display the local noun equal to 5 again. So that's have the regular local variable. Whenever you call the function, they will establish the memory location and assign the value. But after your function finish, the local variable just gone. So we see the example 12 run on cloud 9. So that's why you can see here your result, the local non just display one time from the first time we call that. Then the second time when we call the show local again, they display the five again. Okay, so then you will say, I'm still not sure why this local noun being re-declared. Because one thing is, you see, I just reassign the value, right? But one thing you can see here, how about I just, uh, because we called second time, right? So that's why you see here, if you try to copy this one and you paste to the before. So then, for example, I call one time, right? So supposedly, they will have the declare your local noun equal to 5. So then I assign the 99. If we say this local noun still in the memory, then when we call the second time, they will show 99 here again. So that's why that one, I want to show you. That local noun, actually, they are gone. Okay, so you can see here. Actually, when I try to display the local noun before the variable being defined. So you can see here we have the arrow. The arrow we show you is your local noun, actually they are not being declared in this scope. That's the first line, right? Because one thing is you can see here, you display the local noun, but this variable being defined or declared yet, no, because you declare it the next line. So that's why you see here, that's why we say, whenever you have your local variable, even the second time, they cannot run that. Because every time your function terminated, your variable, they are all gone. So then you can see here, if you didn't declare that first, they cannot display at all. So that's, we say, that's the local variable. But here, your local variable, every time when you run the program, the memory will be released. But if we want to keep this local noun, the value update from the previous time we call that, then you need to make this variable become a static variable. So we see what is static variable. So this one is in the example 13. So we define a function. This function we show you the static variable. So then we have a show static function. Now you can see I define an int variable. But before the int, I add a static keyword. So after we add a static keyword, the stack none, actually this memory location will not reside in this local function they will be in other general memory location in the program. So that's why here you see, even I didn't assign the value, any static variable, the default value, if they are integer, the default value will be zero. So that's why here you see, even we didn't assign the value, right? So then you will see the first time when we call the function, they will display zero. So then what means stack non plus plus? Right, that's post increment, right? So after the zero, then I increment become one. So then that's your function. And this function, I will be invoked in the main function for five times. Did you see that's the for loop function? 
I start from zero less than five, so I will increment count every time. So that's why I will call the show static function five times. So the first time the stat num will display zero. Then the increment become one. So again, the second time I call this function, the stat num will be one. Then the increment become two. So then I call the function five times. So later you will see the output. They will display one, two, three, four, five. Then you will see the static variable memory location, even your function being finished and call again, they still have the value retained in that location. So you can see here actually it's the sample output. So the static now automatically initialized to zero if they are static variable. Then after what you see they just contain the value I increment so then you see the next time I call the function the value just continue to increment so make sure you download example 13 and run from the IDE so post the video so I will show you from the IDE so you see here that's our static show stack static function so remember your function prototype is always outside your main function so then here we have the function implementation. We define, declare a static variable. When you not assign them the value, the default value will be zero for the numeric number. So that's why when I call this function five times from the main function, then you will see the result. They display zero, one, two, three, four. The reason is static variable, their memory location is in some general location. It's not belong to the function. So that's why every time we call the function, after we finish, the static variable memory location is still there. So that's why the value will reside on become, after we increment by one, they become one. So the second time when we call the function, they will display one. Then the increment become two. So then again, I call the function, they display two. So the increment become three. So that's why you have the result like that. So here we show you your static variable. Not only the memory location will not be erased after the function finish. And also if you didn't declare, if you didn't assign the default value, the default value will be zero. Of course, you can assign the default value. For example, now we just assign the default value equal to 100. So then you will see here, they will display 100 first, then the increment become 101. So the next time they call the function will become 101. So then you can run the program. So then you will see the first time they displace 100, so then the increment by 1. But you need to remember, when we say the static memory location, they are only live when the whole program is running. After your program finish, of course, every memory location is gone. So that's why when I rerun the program, you will see they will reassign equal to 100. So then they become 101, 102, 103, 104. So then the static variable, if you don't assign the default value, the default value will be zero. Then of course you can reassign any value you want. But every time is after you pull your program restart, of course the memory will be reestablished. So now when you call the function first time for to assign the static variable is five is five hundred, so then they will display five hundred. So then afterward they will continue to increment. But one thing is after your whole program finish, so then of course all the memory will be released. So that's the static variable.